Well, uh, I want to thank uh, President Bachelet for uh, taking the time to visit with me today. Uh, we've had a chance to get to know each other uh, at the Summit of the Americas, uh, and we've spoken on the phone uh, repeatedly. Uh, I find her one of the most compelling uh, leaders that we have, uh, not just in the hemisphere, but uh, around the world. And, uh, I congratulate her and her entire team for uh, managing uh, the Chilean economy uh, and the political process in Chile in such a uh, such an excellent fashion. Uh, and I think she's doing an outstanding job. Uh, obviously, the friendship between the United States and Chile is strong. Uh, we uh, have very uh, strong commercial ties, uh, in part because of the free trade agreement that exists between Chile uh, and the United States. Uh, one of the things that we've discussed here is how we can continually deepen that relationship. Uh, so we are announcing cooperative projects on clean energy. Uh, there is uh, enormous interest both in the United States and in Chile and how we can develop solar power and wind power and uh, biofuels and uh, a whole host of other clean energy strategies that will make uh, the people of both countries more prosperous and less dependent on uh, imported uh, energy needs. Uh, so we are going to be starting a cooperative project uh, in Chile on this issue. Uh, in addition, uh, we think that there's tremendous possibilities for cooperation on uh, science and technology, and uh, so uh, a specific project that uh, we've discussed is a uh, cancer research center uh, that can help us make progress uh, on that deadly disease. Uh, more broadly, uh, I look to President uh, Bachelet uh, for good advice and good counsel in terms of how the United States can continue to build a strong relationship with all of uh, Latin America. And uh, I think the good progress that we began to make at the summit of the Americas uh, can be built on with some very concrete steps uh, in the months and years to come. Uh, we consider Chile to be one of our most important par partners in that process. Uh, and so I expect that uh, in the months to come, uh, we'll be working uh, very closely together. Last point I would make is, and I mentioned this actually at my uh, press conference with the White House correspondents. I think Chile is to be congratulated on having managed their economy and uh, their fiscal surpluses uh, during good times in such a way that they are, have now been able to uh, uh, manage the, the bad times uh, in, uh, in, an, uh, in a good way. And I think that uh, it's an example for all of us that Good fiscal policy, good economic policy, uh, ultimately uh, allows for prosperity through good times and bad times. Uh, and I think uh, that as we move forward in some of the global discussions around how to respond to uh, the deep recession that the world is going through, that uh, we look to countries like Chile uh, to underscore the fact that uh, no matter how big or small the country is, uh, good economic policies can, uh, can help grow the economy uh, throughout the world. So we're very grateful to, to you for your visit. We're glad that you're going to be here for uh, a couple of days. And uh, I look forward to returning the favor by visiting Chile uh, sometime soon. Thank you very much, President Obama. Uh, as you say, um, we have uh, had a wonderful conversation. Uh, and this is because we feel that we are so uh, close to the way President Obama's administration is uh, understanding uh, the world, uh, its challenges, and how to build relations with, the, with, the, with its partner, with the countries of Latin America. Uh, of course, he is an idol in our country. I mean, everybody was so enthusiastic about this meeting. And, uh, so, uh, and that is because of uh, real reasons, because we understand that the way you are developing your leadership is, uh, is, is uh, one who inspires us and, and makes us feel very comfortable and very confident too. Um, and we have congratulated President Obama because of all its, uh, of all its uh, um, foreign policy, all of its uh, efforts uh, to uh, not only nationally but also internationally have a good response to the economic crisis 
we have been exchanging point of view on how how uh, we can also be part of the solution in the Latin American region to cope, with, to respond to this economic crisis, how to assure that the countries of Latin America can have uh, the, the capitals, the, the, the flows of capital that they need in order to recover a recovery economy and be able to tackle its main challenges like poverty, like uh, um, uh, health problems and educational problems and so on. And of course, he already mentioned it, uh, we have been uh, signing today, early today, this uh, cooperation uh, and memorandum uh, through energy and we are really enthusiastic about clean energies. We share the idea that the crisis should be responded, also trying to tackle with climate change issues and uh, a green, a clean energy will be a very important, uh, I would say, a support in this, in this direction. Uh, Chile has great conditions for solar energy and some others, so we are really uh, enthusiastic about these common efforts. We'll continue also with uh, other uh, initiatives like uh, Chile California plan, like Equal Opportunities plan, where uh, lots of Chileans are coming to the United States to make its uh, a P a master degrees, uh, postgraduate studies to help with, with Chile's uh, development. And also Chile is willing to be a very good partner uh, of the uh, United States in this uh, um, cooperation within the region so we can have a closer relation within the United States and all the Latin American countries. Uh, well, we're also working on health in cancer, but also uh, we have been uh, working with the people with the CDC regarding the, the human flu, and I think it will be very important also for the United States because when, when uh, in autumn there will be another, probably another wave of, hu of human flu, whatever is learned from Chile, we have good, good diagnostic capacities, good uh, registration capacity, it will be of health for future treatments here in the United States, for vaccine use, and so on. And since uh, the president is a doctor, <laughs> you can take her word for it. That it's, uh, <laughs> It's very helpful. All right, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you Made echo, uh, made echo of, uh, of an old joke. Uh, there's never been a good time in the United States because there's no American embassy. The point being, <laughs> that was almost that was a joke from an American guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, said it was a good joke. <laughs> the point being that almost no Latin American nation has been free from CIA bloody CIA intervention. Um, Chile being a prime example, President Bachelet being one of its victims. Um, is it time? For a historical apology? Well, I, look, I, I, I think you answered your own question right at the beginning, which is I'm interested in going forward, not looking backward. Uh, I think that uh, the United States uh, has been an enormous force for good in the world. I think there have been times where we've made mistakes. But I think that uh, what is important is looking at what our policies are today and what my administration intends to do uh, uh, in cooperating with the region. And I was very clear in Trinidad and Tobago uh, at the Summit of the Americas that uh, we are interested in a partnership in which uh, we are focused on how can we improve the day-to-day -day living standards of ordinary people. Uh, and that that uh, focus on human development uh, is one that transcends boundaries, should transcend ideologies, uh, I don't have a litmus test in terms of uh, you know, whether a government is center right, center left, this or that. My approach is if the United States is working together with a country to promote the well-being, the health, the education, the economic opportunities of people in both countries, uh, then we're going to have a good relationship. Uh, and I'm confident uh, that we are moving in that direction, uh, and I think that Chile is going to be an excellent partner in that process. Uh, as uh, President Bachelet mentioned, uh, you know, I think this, uh, the flu situation is a good example of what the 21st century is going to look like. There are no borders on the flu. 
Uh, this is not an American problem or a Mexican problem or a Chilean problem. This is a world problem. And given that uh, the flu season is t happening now in the southern hemisphere, if we get good information and we're both assisting uh, countries in the southern hemisphere but also learning from uh, the data that is being generated, that will then help the people of the United States. And it's a good metaphor, I think, for a whole range of issues from climate change to poverty to uh, terrorism, whatever the issue, so many of these issues now cross borders. Uh, we can't look at them in isolation and uh, that, I think, is going to be uh, the basis for a strong working relationship in the future. So, thank you.